Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Brittany here and in this video I'm going to be talking to you about belly binding which is what I did to help my tummy go down after I had my baby. If you hear my husband and my baby in the background, they're back there playing so just ignore them. Okay, so after I had my baby I decided to get a belly wrap like a uh, belly bandit that's the only really like name brand one that i know of i didn't get that one i just went on amazon and i purchased one there it was really hard for me to decide which one i wanted because they have so many different ones and i didn't want one that would be too bulky or too hot or itchy or anything um really i just had to look at each um option that they were showing on Amazon. I looked at the reviews, I looked at the pictures and everything, and that's how I made my decision. So I would recommend that you do the same if you're in the market for a belly wrap, a postpartum belly belt or whatever. I'm gonna show you guys what mine looks like, how I use it, and I'm gonna show you what my tummy looks like now. But before I do that, I'm going to just tell you some of the benefits of wearing a belly wrap after you have your baby. So first and foremost, Wearing a postpartum belt will help if you develop diastasis recti, I think that's what it's called. Forgive me if it's wrong, but I think that's what it's called. Um, and that's pretty much where there's a separation of your ab muscles. So you know how you see the six pack tummy? Well, you got three abs on this side and three abs on that side. Well, if you develop diastasis recti, they split down the middle and there's like this gap in between your abs. This is something that is very common for pregnant women to develop during pregnancy because baby is pushing and making a lot of, um, putting a lot of pressure on your abdominal area. And sometimes they just split open to make room um, and to just make baby more comfortable. And that did happen to me. Now, the way you can tell if it's happened to you or not is, um, I know there's this like this little test that you can do. You lay flat on your back, lift, bend your knees, um, and then you take two fingers, I started off with two fingers for mine, and you place them in the middle of your tummy, and then you lift your head up off the floor like you're doing like a slight crunch. And if your fingers go down, if you feel a space in between there, and you feel your abs closing around your fingers, then you know there's a separation there. Now, if it's only like one finger or two fingers, it's not really that bad, but some people it's three or four fingers, you know, and that's a pretty big gap. So before you start trying to work out again or get your tummy back down flat from exercise, you have to do certain types of exercises first to strengthen your pelvic floor and to strengthen your uh, core. 